This video is sponsored by Mwah. <laughs> Head over to WalandaProudLon.com for Merge, my signature red lip, and my new body care line. But if you really want to make it official, go ahead and sign up to our newsletter where we'll be sending out updates, discounts, new arrivals, and video uploads. What are you waiting for? There are thousands already signed up. You will want to be next. It's currently 10.36 a.m. and I'm about to order a couple of organization bits off of Ikea in order for me to put together my house a little bit more. The thing about me is I've constantly been decluttering and not really much adding anything because my whole goal is to make sure I have just what I need and not extra things just laying around. So I went through my hair products and my nail kits and backups and all of that to see if I could organize that section a little bit more and I can. So I'm going to order, it's only four items. Uh, the third item I really don't need is this really cute glass that has these vertical st stripes, ridges, whatever it's called. It's just, I don't need it, but I'm gonna add it. <laughs> it's a juice glass. I have glasses and I really don't need any other glasses, but it's cute. So let me just go ahead and place my order. I'm thinking what else I need. I don't think I need anything. And these things are not, well, one of them is a need, but since they're gonna charge me for shipping anyways. I might as well add other things to the cart. I don't think Ikea has a minimum for shipping. So, so let me just go ahead and check out. They say they can deliver today. It is 10 and they say they could deliver between 3 p.m. And 10 p.m. today. Honestly, I could take a taxi to go to Ikea to get them, but for me to take a taxi to go and come back, it's gonna be more in the taxi ride than for them to just deliver it to me because it's only 19 dirhams for them to deliver it to me. 19 dirhams is about, what, like $5, a little bit over $5. So it's going to cost me more than $5 in order for me to take the taxi back and forth to Ikea. So let's go ahead and have them delivered. So my total is 93 dirhams, which is about $25. Okay, let me sure it's today. Yeah, they could deliver it. Cool, 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 cool. I wish they did card on delivery. They only have cash on delivery. Do I have nineteen dollars? What do I have? I have fifteen and a fifty. So I do have nineteen dollars, but I need to hold this cash just in case I have an emergency. And knowing my behind, as soon as I spent that little cash. I'm gonna need it and it's gonna be irritating. So let me just go ahead and use my card. Um, I guess I'll check back later on when it actually gets delivered. Now I did sleep on the couch last night because I was too lazy to get up. So I just pulled out the blanket and was like, you know what? We sleeping, we, <laughs> I'm sleeping on the couch tonight.
okay so i went on amazon and picked up this stand this is called a c stand and i got it to so i can do different angles in my video so it's not just the stationary stationary yeah standard tripod angle even though i can do different angles with my tripod i need something that is going to be giving me dramatic angles so i thought a c-stand would be would be nice to have i don't have a lot of camera equipment and i don't need a lot of camera equipment and that's on purpose i don't have a lot of camera equipment because one i don't have a lot of space and two it just has not been necessary for me so this has been sitting for a while this came before my birthday and we are already in october so i hope everything is here because <laughs> if it's not it's already past return period pretty sure i don't know how to put this together it should be easy right okay i think I did it okay so i need to organize my glasses and i need to organize this as well but i am ordering some organizers from shein to put these all together in one place these are just all my straps for some of my purses the ones i normally don't use a strap for like my saint laurent sac de jour nano i normally do not put that over my shoulder or crossbody it i normally just hold it handheld so these are all the 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 purse straps that i normally order um what's that were handheld this i was supposed to throw a long time ago didn't i do a the clutter and i put it right back in here thinking i'm gonna use it still i found other travel cases or travel bags travel pouches that i've had so i'm not gonna keep this i'm just gonna go ahead and throw it out these are gonna have to wait until the shein order comes in and let's go ahead and get into my sunglasses i do order my sunglasses from shein because i'm so bad with shades they break they get lost they scratch up they get oily they break they get lost so i do not order or i do not purchase any designer ones or anything because it's just not necessary i will lose them so that would be a waste of money i might as well just buy these for like two to four dollars five dollars probably and i won't have a fit if they break and also i don't really like designer accessories so that's that let's go ahead and Get these organized because i don't like them the way they are right now 
I'm going to go ahead and place the sunglasses on here without the case. I think it'll look much better than just having them like this. Because right now it looks neat, right? But on a regular, when you have to go through every one of them to see which glasses you want to take, it gets very messy very quick. So this is not sustainable, even though it looks cute. But this will be because I'll be able to see everything. Like everything else, I like everything on display so I can see it and not close up. So let's go ahead and transfer everything. I'm going to keep one and this one I'm going to use the used to hold the cloth holder and all the little wipes that comes with the sunglasses to clean them off. So that one I could place to the back. I could just go ahead and fix them. I like this way better. I could see everything and I could just pick out what I want. If I need a cleaner or a case, I have it right here to go. And that's basically it. So in the bottom drawer, I normally keep my sewing kit. And I want to put, cause this was in the bottom drawer too, randomly. And so I want to put all of these bobby pins, bobby pins, safety pins inside the sewing kit area because it just makes sense so i'm gonna go ahead and condense everything Okay, let's go through my empties. I haven't done empties in a minute and I've been debating whether I should continue with them or not. Should I make them its own video still or include them in videos like this that I sporadically feel like doing randomly? So since this is kind of like a declutter video, let's go ahead and include the empties in this video and I have quite a few. I did start throwing away some empties when I was like, eh, I don't think I'm gonna do empties anymore, but I held on to majority of them. So first and foremost, Ozema, Ozma, Ozma, um, what's it called, acetone. I bought two bottles of this. I'm on my second one. I'm actually halfway done for my second one, so I will have to order another one soon. Normally, I buy them two at a time. I emptied my Earth's Finest Virgin Coconut Oil. I already re-upped. I have another one in the bathroom. I think I have a little, do I have a bigger bottle? I don't know. But yeah, this is what I use on my body, on my hair, and sometimes cook, but not the same bottle. This bottle stays in the bathroom, and then I have another one that stays in the kitchen cabinet. Next, this is not empty, but I'm just tired of it. I'll try to um, pan it or empty it out, and it's just taking too long. I have other acne creams that are way better. This is very low in percentage, so I really don't care to try to finish it. I've had this for years, ever since I was in Atlanta. I was like, I mean, this is acne cream, so why not just finish it? But honestly, I keep on repurchasing my Neutrogena on the spot treatment and pushing this to the back. I put it on the counter so I can try to empty it, but it is just taking too long. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw it out. It's only 1% salicylic acid in there. And this is a Murad Acne Control Outsmart Acne Clarifying Treatment. I'm pretty sure it's good. It, I mean, when I was using it, it 
it did what it needed to do at certain times but i'm used to a stronger percentage i think my neutrogena has 2.5 percent so this one percent is really not doing anything for me so i'm i just go ahead and throw it out Ooh, there's hair all over it glory conditioner by lush cosmetics and honestly i will not be repurchasing something like this I thought it would have moisture. I've heard different um, reviews on YouTube of how moisturizing it is. It does have okra in it. Honestly, I used it one time as a deep conditioner. It didn't do what it needed to do. So I used it as a pre-poo and it didn't do what it needs to do. So I wanted to try it out, something different. I'm on a kick of trying different deep conditioners out deep conditioners out just to try them out so i know not to pick this up again yeah it just it did absolutely nothing for my 4c hair next keeping up with hair care i have a lot of hair care in here y'all because i went through a lot of hair care uh the camille rose lavender fresh cleanser fresh cleanse detangling and moisturizing hair cleanser I do like this cleanser. It is very cleansing, extremely cleansing. Um, when I did my silk press, I cleansed with this once and then, or twice, and then my herbal essence once to make sure my hair is cleansed, cleansed. And it did what it needed to do. I did not purchase this. I got this a while ago when I worked with Camille Rose. That's how long I've had this, I want to say. So I. Did not purchase it but i will not be purchasing it because it's just too expensive for a cleanser there are so many other cleansers out there and i i'm not a sulfate free type of girl so i don't care i get sulfate i need sulfate based shampoo to really clean my hair out since i only cleanse my hair once a month and i use a lot of oils butters grease all of the above so it does what it needs to do it definitely clean and i love that about it but for the price it is not worth it to me because there are other ones that are inexpensive that will do just about the same the next i have is the camille rose honeydew liquid moisture refreshener i've talked about this many times on my channel i had a whole bunch i stocked up i think at the beginning of the year and now i'm on my last one in the cupboard so yeah this one is done uh, most of these i think this one or yeah this one i poured into my travel kit so most of it went into my travel kit and the other portion went into my hair next is the kiss lashes in 01 underscore a i really love these lashes um i got them randomly a while ago and i'm still going through my lashes i have not purchased any re-ups in my lashes because i have not really been putting lashes on a regular only when i feel like i want my eyes to pop a little bit on camera i put lashes on but other than that on our day-to-day -day, or even when i go out i don't really put lashes on anymore i don't really it's just time consuming one and two i'm totally okay with not having my lashes on and me two years ago i normally always have my makeup on with lashes on so i finished this i only had one left and yeah now it's done sunny isle extra dark jamaican black castor oil i've always been repurchasing this this one i got from tj tj max a while ago in atlanta for 5.99 but i'm definitely going to be repurchasing oh am i going to be repurchasing the kiss lashes maybe if i find it online and i'm already purchasing lashes yes but to just go because i finished that no castor oil is a staple in my hair care routine so definitely going to be repurchasing this i think i'm gonna try to repurchase during black friday or if i see some type of sale then i'll get a another bottle finish the crest 3d deluxe uh what's this toothpaste you guys know you yeah, already know finish the herbal essence uh, argan oil of morocco conditioner this one i kind of finished kind of didn't i poured the rest into the herbal essence hella hydration that i have so now i have a layer of 
blue conditioner and a layer of white conditioner on top but i just wanted to definitely decrease my bottles in my uh hair hair cabinet or hair box so yeah it's finished kind of it just i literally just had one more use left so i just went ahead and depotted that into that but it's it's technically finished to me next oh this is real old because i haven't purchased this but like two washes already but um finished the nivea man pure impact shower gel i used to buy this a lot a lot a lot i really loved it but um i go through it so quickly when it comes to showers it's only 500 milliliters so i went ahead and bought something that's one liter and that's just better for me because i just hate finishing shower gel so quickly because it's something that i go through so quickly and having to keep on re-upping is just annoying i just need something that's gonna last me a little bit longer and still does what it needs to do so i did switch over to a another brand that i'm using so when that's up it'll be in the empty next i emptied out my or panned the covergirl full spectrum powder foundation in the color deep four absolutely love this i already have another one that i had a backup on of i absolutely love this powder foundation it is my color to the t so if you are my shade and you're looking for a good powder foundation this is it even though they discontinued this powder and it's very hard to find you can still find it online on amazon and uh where else have found it some cvs online has it you just really have to search and then sometimes it's more expensive sometimes it's not it's just it's, it's weird but i absolutely love this powder foundation so when this is done or when i'm not able to purchase this anymore i'm gonna have to switch over but i know i do know that this is a discontinued product now i initially got it as a pr gift from um covergirl when they first launched it a couple years back it's just ugh, i'm so mad that it's discontinued because it is such a good undertone like it has that good balance of red undertone for me and it's not you know it's not ashy looking or anything like that. So I absolutely love it. Oh, my camera battery is about to die. Next is this Dudu Osun Black Soap. I was going to try to use Black African Soap to clean my brushes instead of just regular Degler Soap, but I don't know, this soap wasn't doing it. I actually was gonna use this soap for my hair as well as a shampoo bar instead of buying a shampoo bottle just to get condense my a little bit more but it was just not cleaning it was leaving deposits on there it just wasn't doing what it needs to do for me so i and it wasn't cleaning my brushes either so if it's not cleaning my brushes it's definitely not cleaning my scalp nor my hair so i just i don't i think because this is not sulfate based that's why i don't think it has any sulfate in it and i need sulfate to clean to clean so i just went ahead and threw the entire bar away it wasn't that much but it sucks that i had to throw it away because it wasn't doing what it was supposed to do but at the same time i was not about to hold on to something that was not doing what it is supposed to do okay next another crest 3d toothpaste this is a brilliant one you already know i like this one so that's done. I finished the Pixie Rose Ceramide Cream, Ceramide Ceramide Cream. I absolutely love this cream, but since I switched over to Nivea, I do not use like face cream anymore. I do not buy just face cream. Nivea has literally been a game changer for me because not only is it good this is all i have right now on my face that nivea cream and my face be glowing normally i used to purchase face cream only nivea you could use it for the body you could use it for the face um i even one time i uh traveled and i forgot my face what you call it my face towel by my 
my makeup eraser face towel that I always use and I don't have anything else like I don't use a cleansing balm or anything like that so I forgot that and I just use the Nivea face cream as like a cold cream you know, the same thing Paws would do that's how I use it in order to take off my makeup and it actually works so now I really don't need anything else it's my face cream if I needed to take off my makeup it's my makeup uh, remover um it's my body lotion lit like what else it's literally a game changer in my staple so i just buy the big one i'm about to be emptying out soon and that's pretty impressive being that it's a big jar container but i absolutely love that thing going back to this i don't purchase this anymore i used to all the time but this it does get expensive it's like 24 plus dollars for this little thing and it's not as moisturizing as the Nivea before I used the Nivea it was super moisturizing and this is all I will go to but now that I use Nivea nah I'm not purchasing the Pixie anymore even though I really like Pixie Pixie, Pixie is good next is the bliss clear genius I have actually been finished with this for a while I have another one um, backed up but I have two other cleansers that I'm going through right now I'm switching interchangeably and those are the first time I'm using those cleansers oh all right yeah you died on me so let's get back to the list I will be repurchasing this when I'm done with I don't know I don't know because I do really really love it but at the same time I am using my cause rx and y'all know how I feel about cars rx now I'm like a cause rx girl so I don't know we'll see let me see how I feel after I'm done with my cause rx and Dermalogica to see and then go back to the one that I have that I haven't opened to see if I want to continue to purchase this or switch over to cause rx so we'll see I don't know but I do really, really love it. That's literally have been the only face wash I've been using. The only reason I'm using the Dermalogica is because they said to me as a PR and uh, CauseRx, I just wanted to try it because I've been using other CauseRx items. So yeah, this is not empty, but I'm throwing it out because I'm not a big fan of supplements just cause it has to really, you know, be beneficial for me and I don't, know why i need turmeric but i got this a while ago as a pr gift from health by habit and it's 1000 mg turmeric it says it supports muscle health supports healthy inflammatory response i'm pretty sure it's good for some reason but just for me i don't need it so i found myself forcing myself to oh i have a lot in here forcing myself to um finish it when i really don't care for it and i think it expires oh look it already I'm dropping stuff it already expired it expired this year january February, march april may it expired may anyway so that's how long i've had it y'all know supplements take like two three years in order for it to expire so i've had this um oh oh i did a no i didn't do a sponsorship never mind i'm tripping Anyways, I'm not, I didn't purchase it, but I won't be purchasing it. Next, I finished the Kiss Lashes. Is this about Kiss? I think it's Kiss. Lash Couture um, Lash Strip Adhesive. This is the black one. And this is the one with biotin and blueberry. Lac, lac, lactic, lac, latex. Latex. What? Tricky girl, what? Latex free. Um, this is the only eyelash glue that i use that i re-up so of course i have backups already set in place and yes of course i will be repurchasing next is the small bottle of the pixie glow tonic this is five percent glycolic acid exfoliating toner toner i have a big bottle i still need to go through that pixie sent to me years ago with my name on it which was really cute and a little you know goodies and all of that so they just be they well when i was on their pr list when they had my address they were always just sending them on a rotation so i had a whole bunch of them i know my mom <laughs> she loves them because i have some left at the house and she's like i've been using that pixie 
the glow, glow, glow. I was like, okay. She said, like, yeah, it's been making my skin. Cause I was like, mom, why are your skin looking so good? And she was saying that. I was like, oh, okay, yeah, I use it too. So I still have the big bottle to go through. I haven't been purchasing it because they just haven't been sending it to me. But since they don't have my new PO box, oh yes, they do. Yep, they just sent me another package. I don't know if they are sending glow tonic out still, but um yeah they still send me stuff <laughs> but um i have plenty literally to last me some time because i'm not a big toner person so it's gonna be a minute until i'm done with the one that i have finished the nivea antiperspirant dry fresh love this thing um just a deodorant and last but not least no actually one more thing before i forget yeah um, it's the Caudalie Vino Perfect Serum. I absolutely love this serum, but I will not be repurchasing it anytime soon. Like I told you guys, I think before, um, these are really expensive. This is like $80 in the US. Um, if I do end up getting, it will be at the one of the France, uh, Paris, uh, what you call it? Airports, that's why we purchase it because duty free is like 20 something dollars. 24 25 dollars for two so um yeah i'd rather just purchase it there but then i have other skincare items that i'm slowly going through it's not necessary for me to get it as of now so i will not be repurchasing it anytime soon but when i do feel like i want to splurge a little bit on my skin i don't know because this nivea is doing what it needs to do baby like i I don't know. I will purchase it eventually in the future, but as of right now, no, it's not needed. My skincare routine is good. Oh, my chicken is burning, y'all. But so let me do this last one before I get up and handle that. I am throwing this out. This is the knockoff of the Revlon dry hair brush. Um, I used this at, when I did my first at home silk press earlier this year i went ahead and i'm going to go ahead and repurchase another one because i really really like this i bought this one off of shein this is the knockoff version um i didn't know that the high was hot like so bad where it all of these misaligned or misaligned brushes is because they melted like you can see right here it melted so i went ahead and add another one to my cart from shein now i know just to leave it on the medium setting that's just fine it's hot enough for my hair and it's not gonna be burning or melting everything off of here so yeah i'm throwing this one out because like it's like is damaged i was thinking about getting the original revlon one we'll see we'll see the thing about that if the revlon one breaks on me and i'm paying 40 60 dollars for it and they are not taking it back to fix it then what's the point i might as well get something that's 13 dollars that does the same thing and i could just purchase another one for the price of three Three of them that I would purchase will be the price of one. So I'd rather just get the knockoff version or the imitation version. And well, it's not a knockoff because it doesn't say Revlon, but the dupe. I'd rather get the dupe version. And if something happens, I wouldn't be so sad that, you know, they can't fix it or they don't fix it than to just get the original one and yeah like no i'm not i'm not so that is all i have for my empties let me go ahead and finish my food and finish decluttering just have to throw this in the mix oh, i need a new lens my ikea package okay so it is almost five o'clock it's 4 58 and they said it would have been here between three and ten I think or three and seven so that's pretty good Ouch. oh my goodness I think I got the wrong side 
what I'm gonna do with this? This is not what I want to do. <laughs> At least this is what I need. And this. Okay, so I did get another one of the little trays that I showed earlier because I took the one from my desk back there to put it in where you guys seen her earlier. For my shades, I needed this for my bathroom because I'm highly upset because it's literally, what is my, I thought it was glass, but it's not. I don't know how I feel about this, so yeah. I think I'm just gonna <laughs> go to Ikea. How bad is traffic? Because this is too small for what I want, I think. Let me, let me double check. Okay, so this entire time I've been putting my dirty towels, these little, uh, yeah, the small towels, the, what they, what they call the, the hand towels, I've been putting them on the floor, like in a corner because they're dirty. So I have this basket now to put them in and then I could put this basket in the bathroom now. Also, I want to put my, um, what you call it? The, the little plastic cup that I use to clean, to put Clorox in, bleach in, to clean the house. I'll put those in there and then leave this in the bathroom so I won't have just a pile of dirty white towels because I do not purchase napkins anymore or paper towels anymore. I just use white, these towels to clean, to wipe my mouth, to yeah, just bleach them and they're good. So that's good. This one. Before I go get disappointed, I know I needed less than 40 because I think the entire thing is 45 and I needed less than 40, but this is 29, which I was like, oh, that's fine, but it's not fine. The other ones will be too big though. Eh. Okay, so what I wanted to do was put this. Honestly, I don't know where to start. I'm just gonna have to get through these products for me to be able to fit the other two things I want to put in here two, four, a couple more things I want to put in here, but I'm gonna just have to get through these skincare. I have a lot of skincare to go through and some hair products. So yeah, that's basically it. I think that is all of my declutter for today.